Before I start, I would like to give a huge thank you to The Living Dinosaur for the recent shout-out. My inbox has been full and my subscriber count has jumped up by several hundred. I'm humbled that so many think I have something worthwhile to say. Thank you to all my new subscribers and everyone else who has stuck around. A lot of my videos are aimed at creationists, specifically those who deny the mountains of evidence which all point to the conclusion that the world is nearly 14 billion years old and that evolution happens. This one is a little more general and also addresses the less literal believers. As far as I'm aware, most humans for most of history have assumed that magic is real, that we have souls, an afterlife, and that there is at least one god. The idea that any of this might not be true wasn't even on their radar. Of course it's true. It's common knowledge. The idea that most people hold false beliefs would have seemed absurd. But rather than try to figure out how much, if any of it, was true, it was easier to look for reasons to believe that it is true. I think the same thing applies today. The difference is that sceptics like me are relatively safe to express our views without fear of being burnt at the stake for simply being honest and open about what we do and don't believe. Religion tells people what they must believe and threatens them with never-ending torture if they don't. As if reaching a particular conclusion was a matter of choice. As if that was an appropriate penalty. Think about it, Christians and Muslims. Whoever wrote the holy books, and those who've been telling you it's all true for so long, don't want you to express doubt or get a second opinion. Do they? To an impartial observer, it looks a lot like the religious people are encouraged to profess belief, regardless of whether or not they actually believe any of it. To openly express doubt is frowned upon, and for many, it's easier to be meek and obedient. It seems like the religious institutions cause more of the young and naive to actually believe it by surrounding them with other people who all say that they believe it. Some might say that this is all carefully calculated, and maybe in some cases it is. But I think there are an awful lot of true believers who put a lot of time and effort into convincing others that it's all real. I also think that there are a number of unscrupulous non-believers who see this as a relatively easy way to make a living, by professing to believe it themselves and then trying to persuade others, and sell a few books and DVDs while they're at it. I don't know which of the people here are being honest and which are not, but I'm speculating in a way which I wish more of the believers would do. It has been my experience that most of the outspoken believers have a poor understanding of what atheism is.